I'd like to thank the chairman for the inclusion in the provisions of this bill to help expedite environmental reviews and language that was requested by myself and Congressman Farenthold, which would help increase private investment in our nation's ports and expedite the completion of large critical projects. One important project that is authorized in this bill is the deepening of the Sabine Natchez Waterway. I've been working on the authorization of this project since I was elected in 2004. My predecessors, Nick Lampson and Jack Brooks, worked on this project. Mr. Weber, who now represents this area, works on, has been working on this project. In fact, the original Chief's report for the Sabine Natchez Waterway was authorized to begin in 1997, 16 years ago. That was three presidents ago. It was in the last century. Since that time, all four of my kids have finished high school, graduated from college, gotten married, and have given me 10 grandkids. The United States has fought two major wars. 16 years to do an authorization on a federal project? Something wrong with this picture, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this project was supposed to cost $300 million. Today, if it's authorized, it will be $1 billion, $100 million. That's a 287% increase, and we still haven't moved any dirt. There's something wrong with this picture, Mr. Chairman. That's why this word of bill is so important. It makes critical structural improvements on the way the Corps of Engineers does business so we could end these absurd delays. It shouldn't take 20 years to complete a project, and I'm talking about authorization, just to approve the project, like the Sabine Natchez Waterway. This waterway is critical to America's energy and national security. It was first authorized at 40 feet. This water bill will make it the depth 48 feet, permitting deeper draft vessels to come through. Right now, tankers that come up the Sabine Natchez Waterway can't be full because they drag bottom. They have to offload part of that fuel before they come up the waterway. That is why this is important to the United States. It's also vital to the United States military. The United States military, the Sabine Natchez Waterway, actually is the home of the largest commercial military outload port in America, and it's the second largest in the, United, or in the world. The channel is home to two designated military strategic seaports, Beaumont and Port Arthur, Texas. Additionally, approximately 20 percent to 30 percent of the nation's commercial jet fuel and a significant majority of classified amount of our military's jet fuel is produced in the Sabine Natchez Waterway. This is the energy corridor of the United States. Refineries line this entire waterway. The delays by the Corps of Engineers have cost millions of dollars, all because they cannot make up their mind to approve the project. Mr. Speaker, pick a horse and ride it. Either approve the project or deny the project, but make up your mind. These delays are absurd. Three seconds. And uh, that's just the way it is. I yield back, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. I don't need any more time.